to Google lied to us. That looks like a lethal weapon. <laughs> it's my wedding shoes. Morning everyone. It's bank holiday Monday today, so everyone's off. And today is Clotus three months. Yay! She's three months old today. Look how big she is. What do you see? Clothes. Chloe, look at mummy. Clothes. Clothes. Oh, good girl. Oh, strong neck. So, today for lunch, we're having our own version of fish tacos. I just bought some fish goujons from the fish and chip shop. And then I'm just going to put it in the tortilla and I've got lettuce and then tomato, onion, coriander, some salsa, sour cream. It's just our version because we don't get it around here. We don't get it over here. So we just have to make our own version. So yeah. Yay, Chloe. Well done, Baba. Hi, guys. Hope you're well. I haven't spoken to you in ages, it feels like. I have just received a package and I'm so excited. It's my wedding shoes. So I've been hunting high and low for um, a pair of sandals. Um, I wanted a pair of sandals because obviously we're gonna be outdoors and it's gonna be hot. Um, I wanted a pair of sandals, but I needed a low heel. Now, I, I really couldn't find any flat sandals that I liked, but basically Steve is about, I'd say an inch and a half taller than me, he, he thinks he's like 5'7", but he really isn't. So I didn't have many, I didn't have much height to play with. So I might be a little bit taller than him on the day, but who cares? And I wanted a cage sandal as well. It's hard for me to find a cage sandal with a low heel, but I found one. And I've had to order it from the States. So it came quite quickly, actually. I found it on Amazon. Um, let me just show you. Uh, the designer is Vince Camuto. Ooh, ooh, that's fancy. Oh my God, I'm so nervous. Oh, wow. <gasps> yes, the heel is about, I think this is about a two, two and a half, three inch heel. Oh, wow. I love them. Look, I love the detail. <gasps> oh, wow, look. I love it. I just hope it goes with my dress. So my dress is ivory and um, when I was looking online for sandals I saw a picture of a girl actually wearing a white dress with the nude ones of these on and it totally went so I'm hoping um, it's gonna go with my wedding dress. Yay! We're just out for an evening stroll. It's such, it was such a lovely day today. It was so hot. It was no jacket weather for us today. Yeah, and tomorrow it's going to be even hotter. It's like around 20. Something. Is that daddy? Nah, that's Uncle Abbott. We're just on our way to meet Steve at the station. And then we're going to go ahead and vote. Because today we're voting for Mayor of London. We've just finished voting. God, we had to vote for three, three candidates today. I'm not going to go into who we voted for because, you know, it can raise all sorts of, you know, debate and stuff. So I'm just going to say, if you can vote, use your vote. It's very important. Hey everyone, on this beautiful sunny hot day, I thought I'd come and say hi because it's probably the first time this week I've actually put makeup on. <laughs> so I was like, yeah, let me talk to you in a decent state for once. Um, so today I've got a really busy day. Um, I'm meeting a friend for coffee right now and then my usual errands. God, let me open the window, it's so hot. I'm gonna go to my second home, Morrison's. <laughs> oh yeah, um, I'm going to buy 
another smoothie maker. Um, we've been using the Kenwood smoothie to go. Um, it was given to us as a present, but it does the job and Steve and I use it every day. So we're just gonna replace it. We're gonna buy exactly the same one. We did think about getting a Blendtec or one of them Nutribullet things, but we thought, well, we're quite happy with this smoothie to go and it and it does the trick. It comes with two cups, so you know, you mix up the smoothie and then you just put the lid on and you're good to go. We've got another busy weekend. We've got a blinds man coming, not a blind man. <laughs> a blind man because we still don't have any window coverings, we don't have curtains or anything and uh, yeah, I think our neighbours have have had enough of our show. So we've got that coming in tomorrow morning. Then of course we've got Nathan swimming and then we're gonna head to Westfield because we're going to be checking out suits again. Uh, wedding suits for Steve and that's that. I think that's it. Anyway, have a good day and I'll see you later on. Bye. Hey guys, so we're back home. Clover's still asleep and I want to eat in peace. Um, I didn't end up getting that smoothie to go just because I was so hungry so I just wanted to do the food shopping get back home so I could have some lunch but I will order that online. So yeah, uh, today's lunch is my favourite salad which I've made in the vlog before. I've just got lettuce, tomato, cucumber, um, olives, feta, walnuts and pears. It's pear and walnut salad basically, it's one of my faves. And then I've just made a balsamic and olive oil dressing to go with it. Hey everyone, so my day has been cut short. Uh, I've just had a call from Nathan's school to say that he has really bad allergies. Um, like, because it's, it's so hot today, so no doubt the hay fever season has started. Um, apparently he's got really, uh, irritated red eye so I have to go and pick him up. Hey babe you're right. It's get it looks a lot better. Is it was it hay fever? Was it really irritating you today? It was bugging me. Yeah. I had a cold this morning and now I have bad eye. I need my my, te my teacher said I need she has the same and I need some purin Let me see your eye. Is this, did one, I like, is this one huh? It looks Did I like Puritan or did I not like Puritan? I, I think you did. Open it, open this one. It's a little bit red. Look, clubs, bubbles. Bubbles. Can you try? <laughs> <laughs> past few weeks that I have a crease here it's even more obvious when I put makeup on so I try not to I try to put just one layer of makeup on here the very lightest bit of makeup because it just highlights it even more so I just remembered I have this um, it's the L'Oreal Revitalift filler it's a hyaluronic replumping serum so it says it replumps wrinkles and defines contours. Hmm. Apparently what I need is to, to hydrate it more. I don't know what it is. It's like collagen. Lack of collagen in my skin. So. Ooh. Oh my God. That looks like a lethal weapon, doesn't it? It looks like a massive injection. Right, how do I use this? Ooh. do two pumps. So I'm just going to massage it into this line. You're supposed to put it before your moisturiser but I remembered after I put my moisturiser on so I'm just going to do it. Hope this fills up this line. It's awful like this must be first signs of old age. I think you can use this under your eyes as well. Yeah, you can put it under your eyes. 
In four weeks, it says, wrinkles under the eyes appear reduced by 20%. The skin looks replumped and has more bounce. Oh yeah, I can't wait. Excellent, come on, replump, replump. I also stocked up recently on my favorite lashes. I got four boxes of them because um, they were buy one, get one half price in boots. I thought they don't sell these anymore because I was hunting high and low for them online and they just didn't sell them anywhere. So um, not sure if these are a permanent permanent range from Eyelaw or if it's just limited edition, but just in case, because I was so gutted so so gutted when i couldn't find them anymore so i made sure i stocked up on more of them happy sunday everyone it's another beautiful day in london it's so hot today apparently it's gonna be 27 degrees steve and i steve and i have just dropped the kids off to my mum's uh, they're gonna do their routine of going to the park today and uh, we're heading into central london um, let's do a bit of shopping and we've also got my sister and her boyfriend with us because my sister's heading to Kazakhstan for work so she's over there we're all jumping on the tube together yeah so hope you're having a good day oh look at these flavoured Ebion raspberry a what flavor verbena flavor oh nice get this look what time is it it's like 10 30 in the morning and it's so hot already I love coming up here early because the streets are empty. Can you see behind me? No crowds. Finally, Zara's open. We got to the West End at 10 o'clock thinking that Zara was going to open at 9.30. That's because that's what Google told us. And it finally opened at half 11, 12 o'clock. So Google lied to us. Sort it out, Google. Anyway, we're in Zara now. I'm going to leave Steve here and do my shopping. Just head into my favourite H&M. It's the H&M on Regent Street. It's my favourite one. They have like the best selection of clothes. And I always seem to find something in that store and I haven't been there in ages. That was quite a successful shopping trip, wasn't it? Steve got all his bits. I went to H&M and got some new underwear. Is that TMI? And some bikini tops for August. As I was trying on the bikinis in the changing room, I was like, yeah, got to work out a little bit more, I think. I've got how long now? just under three months to get into some sort of decent shape oh yeah back in the area now so beautiful it's so hot but it's like 25 degrees right now London is so amazing when it's hot yay happy birthday to you happy birthday 